How y'all doing today? What's up, family? How y'all doing? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Good afternoon, Bijou. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kenya. Good afternoon. All right. Phoenix is checking in. Phoenix, Arizona. How y'all doing? Just left Phoenix maybe four weeks ago. It's about four weeks ago, right? Yes. I'm going back. Soon all this is over with, to hang out. The way my back feels, I feel like I need to be in Phoenix somewhere. Man. <laughs> right, they said that you don't feel all the um, pains the same. Really? That's why older people move to um, Phoenix, to Arizona, period. Okay. All right, all right. How's everybody doing today? How's your day going? Let us know where you're checking in at. Big ups to everybody. Before we go into the letter, uh, Bijou gave some good information today about this uh, coronavirus. They may have some medicine or cure, huh? Um, so it looks as though the hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine um, have been approved by the FDA to be used as treatment for the coronavirus. Now, I don't know, the, like I said, the testing on other things, because it's used for a lot of different other things. It's an anti-malarial drug. But I don't know that they have any real results of how it affects, you know, how it treats the coronavirus on a large amount of people. I know they did, like, some really small tests, you know, with small amounts of people. Mm -hmm. So I guess they're going to find out what it does. I think the reason why they're okay with just letting it out, like, right now without mm -hmm. having long-term tests is because it's such a low-risk drug. It okay. doesn't have a lot of side effects at all. The, most, the biggest side effect is what it can do to your eyesight. But that's big. with prolonged <laughs> use. Uh, so prolonged use, okay. their 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 goal is you know for you to take it for a short amount of time and you don't have the you know you, it was the virus so I don't know that's the only thing reason I can imagine them okaying a drug that fast because we all know they're also coming up with a vaccine but they're not even going to start testing until September for the vaccine because it takes time yeah it takes time for those type of things to be tested and uh, you have to do it on controlled groups and things like that but this because i guess they assume they know it won't affect the body that much they can just let you try it and see if it works basically now i saw some doctor on facebook with with this study or whatever mm -hmm. like you was talking about and he mentioned how trump and basically he was kind of you know he was he, was, he got on trump mm -hmm. like we're the doctors however <laughs> this medicine is showing that uh, it's, it's showing so far that that it's working. So okay, that's crazy. But they wait on the FDA to give a final approval for oh. the chloroquine. I think they did. No, this is something. I don't know if this was something else. Oh, I mean, maybe I came. Yeah, oh. I got it late. But oh. yeah, so yeah. okay. So I wonder if you know if it's an already an FDA approved drug do they have to approve it for different uses or are you know yeah it makes sense who knows who knows yeah i believe that's what it that's what i think they have to do because it says they gave an emergency uh use authorization 
to treat those affected with the novel coronavirus. So basically, normally you wouldn't be able to just like prescribe it for that. You know, I guess you can't just prescribe any old thing for people. <laughs> right. So I guess that must be what it is. Well, God touch touch your people. Yeah. Heal your people. I'm sure that uh, yeah. whoever's going through it right now would love to have some some type of yeah. relief. Yeah. yeah. They know. said they had 30 million doses of that hydroxychloroquine and 1 million doses of chloroquine phosphate donated to a national stockpile of potentially life-saving pharmaceuticals and uh, medical supplies. So I, I wonder, do people get it free then? Does that mean if it was donated to them, <laughs> do you have to pay? You better not. You better not. If it was donated. You really tripping. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you really tripping. They had to stop people from uh, stockpiling, trying to stockpile this medication. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, let's stay prayerful and hopeful. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <clears throat> so let's read this letter. Let's dive into this letter. Today's reality, our real people, real life situation. All right. Dear Sam, my husband is a supervisor at his job, and all of his employees are working from home. Now, I got that first week they worked from home. There was a a transition period, but for whatever reason, my husband is still finding a reason to be gone all day long. I never thought I had any marriage problems until this pandemic. Over the weekend, he was cool. Monday hit, and he was like, look, I got to go to work, and he can work from home just like the rest. I even fixed up an office area for him at home, and he got mad at me and told me to mind my business. He is tense all the time. He receives texts, messages, and emails now all times of the night. I don't want to think he has been cheating on me. However, I'm terrified that with me not knowing for real where he's going, that he'll bring the virus home with him. He thinks I'm just being paranoid, taking the pandemic a little too far. How does a couple survive when we are not used to being around each other what is supposed to be 24 hours a day? And should I trust my instincts that something else is going on? Let me hear what you two uh, queens have to say about it mm-hmm. before I make my comment. Mm. She sounds a bit noited. Huh? Yeah. But she sounds a bit noited. I mean, I don't know that she have any prior, you know, reasons to think that he would be cheating the way she's acting. Well, I mean, if somebody is just dead set on trying to be away from you mm-hmm. and secretive, it's it's all automatically going to raise your antenna. And it doesn't seem like he's trying to do anything to calm her. He's just like, mind your business. That's not cool. So what he should do, open up his phone and give it to her and say, look here, check it out. Right. Here you go. What you want to see? I don't know about that. But I mean, you got to make, I mean, what do you do when somebody thinks you're doing something? Here, you're not doing it. Here, take my phone. Well, I don't know. I, I just feel that if if you have insecurities and you're married, and someone is saying, okay, well, how come you can't work at home like everybody else? Then he he yeah. should be able to easily say, well, I have to go into the office or yes, I have to do yeah. some things on the computer that I'm not able to do. It should be an answer other than, you know, mind your own business. Right, so you told her to mind her own business. Right. I'm yeah. not a child. Who are you talking to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's some more to this story. Right. Yeah, what did James say? You, you say what now? He didn't do something. Why Why would you just assume? I get, I get, you know, out of nowhere, it seems a little strange to have him, you know, wanting to get out of there like that and, and be busy and phone ringing all hours of the night. But well, why would you just jump to that big conclusion like that? Yeah, well, let me tell you, maybe. And so, again, this whole quarantine thing, <laughs> yeah. it's going to let the That's truth come true. out. It sure is. It's going to let. Maybe he just don't like being there with you all, all like that 24 hours a day. He yeah. should, right? But it, it might be the truth. Right, like does my breath stink or some, do I, am I funky? Sometimes, uh, you know, you, you you find out. Maybe this will draw people closer or draw them further apart. Damn, I got to be all day, whole 30 days yeah. with you all the time. And sometimes some people work. Is there an outlet from who they with? Absolutely. It could be the kid. It could be that, that's their outlet. But I would rather you say I'm not used to all this togetherness. And I gotta get out of here, or I'm going crazy. Oh my god! Oh my god! All this togetherness. I don't know, Bijou. Would you rather somebody say, "Look, this is just too much. I need an outlet," rather than somebody just saying, "Mind your business." That's disrespectful. 
No, that is disrespectful. The man your business is, is. Is, is straight disrespectful. If it's if yeah. it's not that, then he should tell her what it really was going on. Right. You, you know, you can say, look, I'm dealing with anxiety, or you know, um, you know, being locked up like this is is, is cool. Because I gotta I gotta walk outside. I I just me personally. Yes. I gotta, I gotta walk down the street. I can't just sit. There. I'm gonna walk it up, and I'm gonna go walk down to the end of the block, talk but to myself a little bit. All day though. Not all day. But you know what I'm saying? So he going all day, all day, huh? All day. Yeah. And she tried to fix it up for him and make it all nice, give him a little office space. And oh, he was like, yeah. Uh, yeah, nah. Um, go on, mind your business. All day, all day, all day? All day, all day. All day. What time he come home? <laughs> I don't know. She just said he was all he was gone all day and then at night his phone and text messages, everything is going crazy. But was those text messages and calls always happening before mm -hmm. this pandemic she didn't say she didn't say yeah clearly um she didn't think anything of it if, before if the phone has never been ringing like that the text messages and he would answer them in the house with you right then um yeah but is this all of a sudden just happening then you got something to be worried about you got something you got a question in fact he say just mind your business yeah, well, what if it's crazy. been doing that, but she never paid attention? Yeah. Because now she's got all this time on her hands. You know, you, you, you just open, you're thinking about stuff because you're at the house all day and night. Well, he probably, he he should probably say that, though. You know, it, if, if my phone was ringing all day, my emails were going off all day, then when my wife or my husband or whatever said something to me, I would be like, honey, listen, you know, this is not new. This has always been happening. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's something you could say besides mind your business if you're not trying to be disrespectful. Yeah. I don't know. Let me tell y'all right now. Yeah, there's more to the story, like you said, Sam. Yeah, something ain't going on. Something she ain't telling at all. But let's let's read these comments, which y'all got before we go live. We got 60 sec, well, a minute and a half. Yeah, T said he should just keep it real, whatever it is. I, I agree. Now, Dale said, tell it like it is. And Sanford said he felt like this before the virus. Trust me. Always, that's why uh, she didn't say. Uh, okay. Now CL said, "Till death do them part." I don't know what that means. No, I mean he need yeah. to be in there. That's what he's saying. Cooped up. Yeah. I mean, you you running around in the streets. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be quarantined. I don't know what you're doing, where you're going, uh, what's going on. Are you bringing home a virus? Are you having an affair? Come on. It, it's enough anxiety out here in the streets, just period. Yeah, I, I don't want to say what, I, what, what it could be. It could have a whole other family. Uh, something. On the other side oh of town. Oh, God. Right. Why leave, why leave her mind to go wild like that, you know? I don't know. What y'all got to say, family? More comments, 40 seconds before we go up. Now, Jubilee said, if he is cheating, what are you prepared to do next? Voice your concerns and keep your home sanitized. <laughs> and Adrian said, uh, leave Sam alone with the scenario you described. Everybody else working from home, but he skedaddled every morning. Then he switches his profession to the healthcare industry, or he's playing doctor with a girl chia pet. Uh, that was from yesterday. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> funny, funny stuff. And Aldo said, yes, he's got a side chick. You know that already. Either you accept it or bounce. Oh, Dang. oh. Not 31ZAK, Sam Fix Show with Bijou Star. That is uh, Uncle Charlie. It's called Forever. Forever, ever? <laughs> that goes perfect with today's reality hour. Uh, <laughs> welcome to everybody who's on Facebook. Thank you all for joining us. We're going to read it from the top. This one here is... Uh, I'm telling y'all, this whole quarantine, for those of you who got those, uh, it's going to test a lot of y'all relationships. Y'all going to get closer, or y'all going to get far. When it's over with, y'all going to be like, you know what, I'm out of here. I can't do this no, no damn more. Right, I don't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm, I heard Sam, I heard you catch yourself. Yeah, yeah, you heard me catch myself. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is serious. A, that's how, that's how folks I feeling, can't though, believe. Sam. I can't believe. I'm going to just have a whole damn day. Not to happen. <laughs> damn it. I was being nice. Ah. She like, I can't stand his ass. Look at him. <laughs> I'm in the house with this all day. Uh -huh, 30 uh -huh. damn days. She can't go to the hairdresser or nothing. Poor girl.
This how you look all the time. This how you look all the time. Right. Damn. <laughs> Realizing he don't pick up nothing. Right. Leave your damn socks in the damn living room. <laughs> in the damn base. You can let my socks leave in the damn garage. What the hell are you taking your shoes off and socks off in the damn garage for? Dishes in the sink. Everything. All right, what you got? Let's read the letter. All right. Dear Sam, my husband is a supervisor at his job, and all of his employees are working from home. Now, I got that first week they worked from home. There was a transition period, but for whatever reason, my husband is still finding a reason to be gone all day long. I never thought I had any marriage problems until this pandemic. Over the weekend, he was cool. Monday hit, and he was like, look, I got to work, and he can work from home just like the rest. I even fixed up an office area for him at home, and he got mad and told me to mind my business. He is tense all the time. He receives text messages, emails, now all times of the night. I don't want to think that he's been cheating on me. However, I'm terrified that with me not knowing for real where he's going, that he'll bring the virus home with him. He thinks I'm just being paranoid, taking the pandemic a little too far. How does a couple survive when we are not used to being around each other, what is supposed to be 24 hours a day? And should I trust my instincts that something else is going on? What y'all think? Y'all call us at 5780931. Now that you read that the uh, second time, Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not taking up anything. I'm not doing that Mm because, you know, he should be able to have a conversation to tell her how you feel. Right. So he needs to have a conversation if it is this. Let's say he is a supervisor. Mm -hmm. And he's getting all these types of emails because, you know, let's face it. Companies, even though the companies that are open, things are getting canceled. The money not coming in like it like it used to, and so that's a lot of stress. You know what I'm saying? Business. I mean, you can you, come on. Let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it all the way real. Yeah, that's true, Sam. That's People true. are like counseling stuff all the time. True. And so, and then yet, if you are the the the, the supervisor, the top still calling you. True. They ain't gonna you they you 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 just a job. And so you can have a lot of this stress on you, but you need to be talking to your significant other, whether you, uh, whoever you are. Y'all need to be having a conversation. Say, look here, this is what I'm dealing with. Right. This is what's going on. But if you just going up and just, just gone all and you can't talk about it, y'all had this problem before now. Absolutely. And it's funny you say that, Sam, because like you, the communication issues are going to be magnified during this time. What? Like if there was something wrong before, now, like you said, when stress is on an all-time high, literally, like, you know, when finances, things are getting tight, folks around each other longer than normal, this is going to make the, the real come out. And this is the time where y'all going to have to really sit down and really work it out. Work it, work it, work at it, man. That's true. You gotta work it. But she thinks he's cheating. Yeah, I mean, no well, answers. When you could, you just ask. And then what did he this tell her? Mind in the you, house together. What did he tell her? Mind her business. Mind, mind her business. Come on. How man. dare you? you can't say mind you your business, about? bro. Uh, she have made the she little room. She have made your little cubicle at the at, the, at home. Mm-hmm. She making that nasty soup that you don't like. She th- she should have threw the stapler at him. <laughs> Mind my business. Ooh, and here you want to look at you. What? Okay. Is that too aggressive? The crazy one. What y'all got to <laughs> She's crazy, Sam. I've been I telling s- y'all she's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here. Y'all call 578-0931. <laughs> what y'all think? Help this lady out. <laughs> WZAQ, 